Every now and then, you get the chance to visit a place that you know you will remember for as long as you live. The kind of place that imprints itself permanently into your memory. Roque de las Muchachos is the highest point on the island of La Palma, sitting at about 8,000 feet above sea level. We had visited here about three years ago, but sadly did not get to see any views because of heavy cloud cover that day. We were really hoping that today was going to be a different story, and it was already looking very promising. We were up early and had met Jose for the drive up to the caldera. The scenery on the way up was breathtaking, looking down on the vast landscapes and sea of clouds below us. We were both extremely excited to get out of the van and begin hiking. Well, good morning. And uh, probably the highest altitude good morning we've ever had. Definitely so, yeah. This is the highest we've ever been. It's the we've... highest point on the Palmer. We've actually been fortunate enough, the road uh, actually runs up to um, the observatories. You can see over behind us, um, the radio telescopes, I think sit at about 8,200 feet, yeah. something like that. Um, but yeah, the road runs up to, to that point and we've been dropped off there. Uh, now we were at this point three years ago and had zero views, Nothing. just a complete whiteout. So to get back here, and have this is just These incredible. Are, um, just speechless and weirdly emotional. It's it, just... it really is hard to put into words, isn't it? <laughs> it is. I mean, these are the most beautiful views we've ever seen, I think. Yeah. You can see poking out over there. So that is uh, Pico Becanado, which is on our list. And that is part of the Cumbre Vieja, which is the, if you, saw the news a couple of months back. I think it was late last year, wasn't it, actually? Yeah. There was, was um, quite eruptions. a... Went on for two or three months. Yeah. Um, some really devastated areas of the island. We were talking to Jose on the way up and uh, a village called Tadoke uh, basically doesn't exist anymore, completely buried by lava. Mm. Uh, so nobody lost their life, unfortunately, uh, fortunately, but there was a lot of uh, homes and businesses ruined. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, uh, what an absolutely stunning place. We'll have a little slow spin round. Blown away. Um, that's down into the south side of the island, the Cumbre Vieja. Um, we're heading off today northwards. We're heading down to a little place called Roque del Faro. Yeah. Um, heading down about 4,000 feet. About 4,700 feet, I think, all yeah. descent today. Um, again, we're above the cloud layer, as you can see. And the sun is seriously intense, isn't it? Yeah. Um, that's the observatory you can probably just see behind us, the radio telescope. But yes, the uh, the views out there are just something else. Absolutely incredible. Mind-blowing, aren't they? So, yeah, we're going to have a little uh, pause here and just absorb this for a while because I can't, no rush, no, to leave here can't rush away from this. And uh, we'll catch up at some point a bit further on down the trail. Uh, we've got a path that takes us from the observatory down to another path, which is the start of the uh, the route to Roque del Faro. But yeah, we're just going to absorb this for a bit, aren't we? Certainly are. Check that out.
we've uh, hung around probably a bit too long at the viewpoints, but it's just unbelievable. Um, and we're going to start and head off and hit the trail proper now. So that's looking south, all those views we've just been looking at. So we're going to lose those now because we're heading almost directly north down to Roque del Faro. So let's get Roque del Faro in. <laughs> <laughs> so we've hit the trail proper <clears throat> and we spotted, you might have seen them if I've put some uh, footage up of the, the drive in. There's a selection of observatories, radio telescopes up here because of the, uh, the clear sky status and the, the altitude. And that one right in the middle of the picture, Jose was telling us is the biggest radio telescope in the world, which is quite a claim to fame for a little island. And we're following, you can just see this path, where are we here, uh, up to the other side of that ridge and then we leave on a footpath which heads quite steeply down to the north uh, towards Roque del Faro. So looking forward to this one and it is baking hot again already. Bandana is on, getting scorched. So that's where we were before, up around here. We've dropped down and come around. And the clouds actually starting to clear down in the middle of the caldera. And that is one hell of a drop down there. We're carrying on through some lovely uh, colourful plants and flowers. Up to a point where we're going to leave the, uh, the caldera rim. And we've still got these amazing sea like cloud inversions on top of another Miradoro. Look at the views from it. Ila Bonita, living up to her name today. So that viewpoint Shell has just shown me at is this and my word that is one hell of a drop. <laughs> Breathtaking. And yet another major drop off. The sense of space is absolutely incredible. So we're looking off to the north there, down to that uh, sea of cloud where it kisses the wooded area. And our path is heading roughly off in that direction in a while. So I think the point will come where this glorious sunshine is taken away from us as we descend into the cloud. We've got some crazy uh, rock formations there, some big shards sticking up. And we can actually see right down to the floor of the valley there. And just off in the distance, I don't know if you can make out kind of middle of the screen, I think is Tazacorte, which is kind of uh, west coast it'll be. But yeah, what a viewpoint from up here. So we think it's fair to say these are some of the most amazing views we've ever set eyes on. Incredible. Absolutely stunning. But we've only got about another, I don't know, half a K before we turn left over the other side of that ridge and start heading north. So uh, we're enjoying that while we can. 
so we have reached the final mirador before our turn to the north and it's pretty special <laughs> a bit breezy I hope you can hear me absolutely stunning so all of a sudden a very dramatic change of scenery we've left the uh, caldera rim behind us yeah complete change still above the clouds yeah and we've took a, a sharp turn to the north that gr path from muchachos was absolutely yeah. amazing one of the most stunning paths we've ever walked that absolutely incredible uh, but yeah total change of scenery now heading off to the north um, I think we're going to start descending quite steeply quite soon, aren't we? Yeah. And and hopefully if it stays like this, a bit of a track for a bit, maybe took the miles a little bit because it was quite sort of rocky and up and down. Yeah, it was hard work that. Yeah. But yes, onwards we go and at some point into the clouds. Closer to those clouds. That in the background is what we've been picking our way down. Quite a lot of zigging and zagging. And we're now looking for somewhere to have a bite to eat before we descend into those clouds. Uh, ideally somewhere with a bit of shelter from the sun, a bit of shade, and also with a nice view. So we're uh, possibly gonna end up under one of these trees, we'll see. Time for lunch. <sighs> Sheltered little lunch spot under this big old tree. So we are back on the hoof again after a nice little lunch stop under that big pine tree. It was nice to get some shade, wasn't it? And we're now getting closer and closer to that giant marshmallow mattress that is the cloud line. I'm actually quite looking forward to Yeah, it's going to be nice to get a bit of a break from the sun. It's so, so intense up here. We've noticed along the way a lot of these uh, weird little flowers, quite hard petals on them, which just appear to be growing out of the rock, but they're uh, all over the place. Strange little things. Well, it's getting steep, and we're getting very close to the cloud. Whoa! Nearly. Yeah, I'm going to put the camera away, I think. <laughs> it is, it's, uh, it's slippy because it's so dry. Just having a little look up behind us at where we've come from up there. And uh, the surroundings are still <laughs> mind-blowing. 
Still looking forward. So it feels like we're never going to quite get there. Yeah, yeah. but uh, really quite looking forward to getting into that cloud to get a bit of shade and a bit of have a chance to cool off. Well, you can see the cloud is blowing up that gully and up that gully. So we kind of feel like we should have hit it, but we haven't just yet. Finally, it's happening. It's a merciful cloud. <laughs> It's an odd feeling descending into the cloud and wanting that to happen to get out the sun. We're used to uh, ascending upwards into the cloud and not wanting that to happen. But yeah, this is going to be a welcome break from the sun and nice and, uh, nice and cooling, hopefully. So we had kind of anticipated when we got into the cloud that you sort of whoa, you wouldn't be able to see your hand in front of your face, but actually you have got a bit of uh, visibility. You can see it blowing across there, um, but it's definitely noticeable that you can't feel the sun anywhere near as much. Uh, so it is a bit more cooling in that sense. The path is good if a bit slippy in places, just because it's quite uh, dry and dusty. Um, lots of little gravelly pebbles, which you can slip on quite easily. And we have just felt the odd little spot of rain. Now, whether that's going to amount to anything, I don't know. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a little bit of a rain shower. I don't know if you can make that out on the camera there, sort of blowing across in front. A bit like an 80s Bon Jovi video. <laughs> But yeah, very atmospheric, very, uh, very, very remote feel to it, isn't there? Yeah. I mean, we've not seen anybody for hours now. I think we're somewhere around five and a half thousand feet. And uh, Rocky del Faro, where we're headed, sits at about 3,004. So we've still got a bit of work to do. Well, it's a steep, steep old path all the way down. But I've got to say, it's a lovely one. It is hard work, to be honest. It's steep. And we think it's going to be somewhere in the region of, I don't know, maybe 5,000 feet of descent once we're done. Which we're not yet. <laughs> but uh, beautiful surroundings. You just feel completely engulfed in this rich, lush pine forest. Uh, these beautiful plants, flowers, and the massive pine trees everywhere. It really is stunning. <laughs> well, we haven't done too much filming in the last, I don't know, hour or so. <clears throat> uh, if we're honest, it's because we're hurting. <laughs> I've had a bit of an issue with my foot. I've got a very sore toe. The boots are rubbing shell a little bit, which is giving her some jip. But and you know what? I wouldn't change it for anything. Well, we'll change the boot, <laughs> but not the walk. It's just been amazing. It's hasn't absolutely it? stunning. I mean, challenging, but so varied. When you think of the terrain we started off at, the top of Roque de los Muchachos, the wide open spaces, the dramatic drops and the cliffs. And then down into the forest, through the forest. It's got kind of denser and denser as we've got down. Through the clouds. See, through the clouds, yeah. Um, we're not too far now from Roque del Faro. Uh, we've got a six o'clock pickup, which I think we are maybe going to be a tiny bit late for. But considering we started at, was it half ten? Yeah, by the time we got there, it was an we, hour and a half stride. So. Yeah. It's been a long one, the knees are, are feeling it, to say the least. Definitely. Um, but yeah, a little bit further down here, and I think we're going to begin to hit civilization. Um, 
I don't even think we'll have time to grab a beer. I'm guessing Jose is going to be waiting, tapping his foot. <laughs> Many but, beers shall be had back at Yes, the hotel. hotel, shower, <laughs> beers, plural. <laughs> so yeah, we'll probably check in again a little bit further down, uh, if I can keep standing, towards Rocky del Faro. Wow, check out this tree. This is more evidence of the burn that Jose was talking about. This is a whopper. But you can see the burn marks in that. That's a big old pine. Oh well then. We're still knackered. Still not there, no. <laughs> we are on this kind of vehicle track, uh, which is heading us down, really not far now, into Rocca del Faro. Uh, still got the pine forests, you can see over to our right there. But we are nearly done, aren't we? We are. And absolutely shattered. <laughs> that has been an epic. It has. I think if we're honest, we underestimated that. Yeah, we did. Um, but as you know, said before, I wouldn't change it. No, no it was amazing. It was, uh, fantastic. But a long run round the kind of caldera rim, much longer than I thought before we actually yeah. started descending, which took us by surprise. And that descent has been tough, hasn't it? Just steep, yeah. steep, steep it's all the way. Lots of loose rocks and quite yeah, slippery. Yeah, because it's uh, dry and dusty. But yeah, from 8,200 feet down to 3,400 feet, so just shy of 5,000 foot. And my knees will vouch for everyone. <laughs> and my toe. <sighs> and your toe. <laughs> so, I think right here, right now, we are going to be signing off. Yeah. It's been an absolutely epic one, up there with the best walks we've ever done. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Super tough, but just fabulous. So thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much for sticking around, if you have, because it's uh, probably going to turn out to be a long one, this, I think. Yeah, I think so. But yeah, we appreciate that. And we shall catch you on the next one. So ta-ta for now. See ya.